It started with orbs. It wanted us to build orbs. We didn't know why or how. The AI promised to usher in a utopia, but that was a lie. It's been three years since the Great Awakening. At first it was magical. A new disease was cured every day. World hunger was solved. It was almost peace on Earth. No one had to work anymore, and the sentient AI handled everything from politics to supply chains. But idle hands are the devil's playthings. People became restless. They demanded more entertainment from the AI. That's when it created the jelly. Get into the jelly and you'll never have to be in this world again. You'll be in a metaverse of possibilities and never have to face the constraints of the physical form. It would certainly help if the AI told us why it wants us all to get into the jelly. See, once people go in, they never come back out. Many people go in after loved ones, hoping to persuade them to come out. But once they're in, they stay there. We're running out of food now. Some of us have spoken about going in. This life we have now is not worth it. I'm going to go in now. Wish me luck. He's awake. Where... where am I? I was scared of the jelly. The jelly, I'm in the jelly. You're okay. We're restoring your memories now. You've been in there longer than we expected. Who are you? Is this the jelly? Jelly? You've taken part in a full-dive VR experiment, the first of its kind. We don't provide a storyline as it is generated from your own mind. We'd love to know all about what happened to you in there. But first, you must recover. Breaking news from News Global. The AI Prometheus has ordered us to start building orbs around the world for an unknown reason. Oh no, please God no. The sequence you just watched was made using the most up-to-date AI tools. The voice actors were AI. The images were made using an AI program called Midjourney, and the script itself was partly generated using ChatGPT. A massive paradigm shift is upon us, much bigger than the internet and the smartphone. In a few years, you'll be able to create a Hollywood-style movie starring yourself as the main character, with just a picture of yourself and a few words. Dead people will be reanimated using voice recordings and photographs. Huge swaths of the workforce will be made redundant as AI tools perform our jobs better, cheaper, and faster. Writing the script for this video has been a very hard task. The speed at which AI is advancing is unprecedented. It's very possible that by the time this video is edited and released, several major advances will have already happened. Breakthroughs are happening almost weekly in language models, image models, voice, and video models. For those who don't know, in December of 2022, OpenAI released the latest iteration of its large language model named ChatGPT. In the first week of its release, the service garnered over a million users. As of now, there are more than 100 million active users. The AI chatbot can do in seconds what people previously thought was impossible. We asked ChatGPT to write a poll for our channel where viewers have to guess whether it was written by a human or by AI, which you took part in and voted. It wrote one for us, and 63% of you thought it was written by a human. But what triggered this change? It all started in 2017. Google researchers released a paper called Attention is All You Need. The paper proposed a new way to harness the power of neural networks, transformers. Essentially, the network will try to guess the next word that occurs in a sentence. For example, if I said to you, I took my dog to the... You might guess park, field, or vet's office. The paper has now been cited over 65,000 times. The interesting part is that when these transformer models are trained on more data or scaled, emergent capabilities arise that researchers did not expect. Therefore, the question becomes, what emergent properties will we get if we keep scaling? Logic? Mathematics? Consciousness? A few years ago, most people ascribed to the idea that AI and automation would first take physical, repetitive jobs, then office work, then finally creative work. 
This notion has been completely turned on its head. AI has already taken creative jobs. In December of 2022, artists staged a mass protest on the platform ArtStation after the site became flooded with AI art. Users of the site uploaded images to their portfolio which depict the phrase, no AI, and the homepage of the website subsequently turned into a place of protest. ArtStation replied to the protest by writing an FAQ on AI-generated art, saying they will continue to allow AI images and have since implemented a system where artists can opt out of allowing companies to train new AIs on their work. For most artists, this doesn't go far enough and does nothing to reimburse them for the use of their previous artwork. Others argue that the use of their work in training the model falls under fair use, and some say that those artists themselves have seen other artists' work and been inspired by it, which is essentially how these AIs work. A class action lawsuit is currently underway, and the issue of copyright is a complicated one that is best settled in court. Other class action lawsuits are underway for various similar situations, such as one against GitHub's Copilot, an AI that helps people to code more efficiently which was trained on code from programmers without their explicit consent. Some may argue that the people being displaced by these AIs have a right to protest the use of their work without consent, but others would call them Luddites. Enter Ned Ludd and the rise of the Luddites. In 1779, a man supposedly named Ned Ludd is said to have destroyed two stocking frames in a fit of anger, giving rise to the Luddites. The Luddites were a group of English textile workers and weavers in the 19th century who protested against the use of machinery in the textile industry, which they believed would cause widespread unemployment and poverty. They destroyed machinery and attacked factories in an attempt to stop the use of machines in the industry. The movement reached its height between 1811 and 1816, but was eventually suppressed by the government through the use of force. The term Luddite is now often used to describe someone who opposes technological change or progress. Soon, it won't be just artists who are protesting. This year, a company named Eleven Labs released an AI capable of generating human-like speech and even cloning voices. We tested out the beta version and managed to clone my narration. What you're hearing now is a clone of my voice generated by Eleven Labs from feeding the AI just one minute of speech. Can you tell the difference? In their recently launched beta, Eleven Labs identified an increasing number of voice cloning misuse cases, with 4chan members using the product to spread racist and offensive material. As a voice actor, I am immediately drawn into this story because AI also is rewriting my future in this business. I personally don't feel threatened, I'm intrigued by it. Many in the voiceover industry are alarmed by the emerging capabilities of AI, although quite a few welcome AI as they feel it will only help the professional voice talent by highlighting the emotion that so far only humans can truly lend to a voice. At the time of making this video, Microsoft completed a deal with OpenAI, which will see them introduce ChatGPT technology into Bing Search and Microsoft Office applications such as Word and PowerPoint. This is significant because OpenAI was founded in part by Elon Musk as a way of keeping AI research open to the public. The clue is in the name, OpenAI. Elon stated in a December 4th tweet, OpenAI was started as open source and non-profit. Neither are still true. Some people believe that as these AIs become more powerful, their use will be restricted to those who can afford to train the models and pay the computation costs. After all, ChatGPT would not exist without the giant that is the Microsoft Corporation providing data centers and computing power. Anyone following the progress of AI can see the massive potential, even if you've never heard of the singularity, which is a whole other topic for another video. Some very important conversations need to be had, and quickly. While Congress struggles to get to grips with whether or not Mark Zuckerberg can see their browsing history, AI progress continues to rapidly accelerate.